Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are going to jump into, uh, let's see, Yamato real quick. YouTube says that we started uh, Yamato on February 20th and on March 7th, which was yesterday. Yeah, we 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 pushed through it. So Yamato and Korea are pretty friggin' easy because <laughs> they start getting a little bit more intense later on as the game goes. But um, yeah, in a week's time, you can push through Korea. And when I mean by push through, I mean as soon as you beat the last guy, you leave. You don't stay there, okay? So we're going to go into Yamato real quick. And we're going to explore just to... This is for anyone who's new. This is, again, this is just my, my uh, second account. I am going to go ahead and just share what, what, how I did what I did. Let's just start here with the Intel portion. Then we'll work our way through the card redemption and the ninjutsu and the sacred mirror. So right here, what I normally would do is this is the, like the exploration area. Uh, this is mainly the exploration section of it, right? So here's where you can go ahead and get, uh, unlock special cards. And then at the end card conversion, they, they, they give you percentages of rewards. Here's where you change your grids. This is what I normally focus on. I focus on my grids first <clears throat> because you're always going to be exploring while you're exploring, right? You're going to be landing on these tiles. And if you land on a white one versus a purple one, clearly the, the, the reward difference is going to be of lesser value if you land on a white one. So you don't want your, you don't want those to be like left behind. You want those to be, you know, get as much Intel, use it, pump it up good to go then when you come here you want to get your your travel speed up anything that says travel speed up you want that you want that because you want to make sure that you can if, if it takes let's just say at some point you're going to get it's going to hit like eight or nine or maybe even ten hours to complete the entire exploration right if you can get that 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 exploration to be cut down by what what did that say 15 percent 15 percent all of a sudden what would take you you know 10 hours might be now nine hours or something you know that's a good that's a good bit of you know reduction in time and these are training so the trainings are for the mirror and uh for for this sorry for the ninjutsu practicing so let's just say i wanted to be in the fire form which is already done if i wanted to be in the fire form and i kept unlocking levels so it would be like the first one would be like tier eight and then the next block would be tier 16 all the way down to tier 20 right so once i hit that to 20 I immediately leave it. I go to 20, uh, sorry, I go to the aqua one because I want that one to progress faster. As you burn Intel or use Intel, right? Ex as you explore, you're going to be learning these regardless passively, but you're going to get an opportunity to learn one faster than the other by, you know, choosing that. The sacred mirror, the way you unlock these, right? It'll ask you, it'll have like these little chakras. They look like little little jades. So what you would normally do is when um, you're here on this secondary portion right here, this one right here says you can trade your motto Intel for one chakra. So at some point you're gonna have a lot of chakra left over, and that's where you apply it into the mirror by doing this. I think it's uh, okay. Here they are. Actually, I was in the wrong section. That's why. So if I click on this right here, it'll be like um, a put in X amount of chakras, right? So and it'll be like. I don't know, out of 1,500, maybe it'll be like 200. And like, oh, where do I get the chakra? You're almost done. There's nothing else to get. There's that thing that says convert the chakra. So you click it and it'll be like, would you like to convert your chakra into, uh, sorry, your intel into chakra? And you say yes. And then when it gives you enough chakra to uh, to put into the uh, the form that you're in or whatever this is, the, uh, the, the jitsu, right? You, you then go ahead and you put it in there and it unlocks one of these little, little jade, little like uh, chakra thingies, these little, I don't know, yin yang thingies, right? So, and then they go in there and then you, you unlock the, uh, the, the shards for your, 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 your mirror right here. And then these right here, I'll go from like 20. You'll probably end up having one that's like, I, in, in the early stages, my, my, my mirror would be like level 20 here level like i don't know 10 and like level 8 because that's just how it trickled down as i maxed it out this will be like 30 then this one hits like 20 this one hits stalls and then eventually it gets a little stronger here uh we can't beat this guy but once we once we do once we Im immediately beat him uh we just leave we're done 
we're done with you with, with, we're done with your model we'll come back to your model right now i didn't even mean to really like spend even that long here because it's not it's not necessary i'm done with this so i'm gonna recall all those all these little ones that i could get right there i'm not even interested in them there's a guy i can't beat there's some relics that i don't have i don't care about any of that you shouldn't either because it's not important it's just not so you can go ahead and leave and you can start your Kathy adventure as soon as possible. I'll just top off even though I don't really need to. So what did we get from Yamato? We got, if we go to the mailbox and we go into like our little history here, we got one, two, sorry, I didn't mean to click it, three, four, and I believe five partners. And your partners are going to be obviously placed here. So guy park you got guy park uh you got your uh, toyota you got liku and i don't remember this guy's uh, toramon <laughs> or whatever his name is I i'm just gonna call him that i don't even want to see here's your rent from toyota oh gives you some uh refinement speed ups so which you're not going to use anytime soon so you go ahead and you get your guys you talk to them you give them whatever they need you help them however you need they become your friend boom they give you stuff so they'll give you minions and stuff and your minions will basically be maxed out i am going to try to max them out right now i have enough gold to do that before i actually had them completely tapped out like i had everything everything was done but for the most part you know because i got uh, my angel form i recently got it to level four from level three so my um my demon uh, my what do you call it uh my my forms here i only got to like yesterday just yesterday t3 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 on all three of them it just so happens that i was waiting for this one to have enough faith and faith is found here my faith was uh i believe it needed to be like 1400 or something or four oh no 4k is for this this is 4k the um the and i guess it needed like 37 ish or something like that to to cross over and when I had enough faith, I was able to get the, this next form. Now, for this one right here, it, it's telling me that I need uh, this stone. And this stone is saying that I need freaking five forms, which sucks. Because I really want to upgrade. I really want to just focus on the zombie. The, I don't really know what's going on with the zombie right now. But I, I feel like having two nunchucks, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty amazing. So I'll explain what I mean by the nunchucks here after I'm done with this. This one needs, requires 3,800 art. So I'll probably start working on my art next so that once I'm done with these, this guy, or if I, if, if I don't, if I run out of um, jeans, because right now I'm kind of low on jeans. Like if I look right here, I got 377 jeans. That's not a lot. So if I click on here, I have 33,000. So it would be, it would be, uh, what is it, prudent of me to unlock this and start working on this if i can't work on the other one otherwise i have i'm not working on anything you don't want to be in that position so these uh these forms you could just immediately like just check in on them every day always make sure that if you speed them up that it, that that you always have enough cash to do the next speed up or at least to leave it cooking and on, on the next time for example if i came over here and i wanted to head i wanted to go ahead and speed this up i would be boned because, yeah, I can speed this up, but I don't have... I have 377, uh, what do you call it, uh, jeans. In 49 minutes, I'm going to be screwed. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get my art high enough to go into this level. And I'm basically not going to be cooking here. So that sucks. Uh, here, I went ahead and opened up the... Um, I went ahead and opened up the museum. The, the museum opened up because I went from here to this one. I traversed this area. Sorry, I traversed this area, so this one unlocked. The point is that you got a new... You got a new one, so you you come here. You you let's say let's just say this is the first time you come here. You, you come over here. This one's gonna be like exhibit this art relic. This art relic. That's the only one. You see how like there's no other options. That means that that's the only one you can put in there. Put it in there. <laughs> that's all there is to it. You see how this one right here doesn't. It's a Yamato Museum. This is a Yamato one. I, if I if you click this guy right here, that will show you the all feature or the specific museum that you're on right now feature and you want to pick the ones that are blue because those are, those are the ones that give you the highest bonus for example like this is tech 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 but this one's 36 because it's just not high enough it's just not getting a bonus but this one is getting a bonus so you put that one in there and you're good to go so like you you, you may have had like the tale of genji 
for example, in uh, the Korea Museum. So what you do is when you come over here and you go ahead and you put change and it says it need this tale of Genji needs to be here, take it out of 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 uh, Korea and put it into Kathy because this is where it belongs. It gets the best bonuses. These stamps are you know more like more valuable for this specific area. So don't don't beat your brain up about it. Just put it where it belongs. For the other ones that are like a little bit. Um, not as high like this one's like really not as high it's not as high as these overall but i went with the stamps i like doing this right now <clears throat> so i like putting these in like this because once i do eventually get these stamps these stamps are going to give these of uh, these benefits these effects are going to land onto uh yamato the, th uh, the thing is that you're not really going back to yamato anytime soon but when you do right all these effects are going to be ready for you these stamps are going to give you bonuses so yes i could ah theoretically uh play for putting in the higher value ones in there now so that i can get the most and actually you know more power to you since we're not going back there i don't see why not i'll actually put 68 in there i, I this was uh this is what currently it's uh what c tier c tier okay let's 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 mess around with it all right so we're gonna go ahead and put this guy in here we're gonna go ahead and exhibit it immediately drop you know raised rank beautiful okay fine so let's change this. Is 45 high? No, this one's higher. But yeah, this one's higher, and that's fine. There's no other stamps, and, it's, and we're not really using it on anything else. And let's see how much further we can go. We'll, <clears throat> we'll put that one in there. Do we get any higher? I don't know. This one's 74. This one's pretty high. I doubt anything can touch this. Yeah, it's, it's actually there's nothing can go there. <laughs> so there's there's no there's no there's no uh, what he's denying its power. It's too strong. So here's 60. We can put 60. This is uh, where is this currently? It's in the quarry. We're not going to touch that. It's probably more beneficial for it to be in the quarry right now. Anyway, I'll exhibit this one. But eventually, what you're going to want to do is you're you're going to want to always keep your eye on this stuff, and you're always going to want to put it back here. Um, <clears throat> if we, if we can keep these up, the 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 higher you know the letter grade or whatever, the better for us because we'll collect more uh, more more medals. And the, the more medals we get, the more we can buy these uh, these wish coins. Uh, these are a one-time buy, so you can buy this. And this eventually happens after a certain, like, uh, when, when you hit a specific milestone. These right here are useless. These are useless, useless, useless. And this is what you're going to be eventually trying to focus your goal on. When you get more museums, you're just going to be collecting a lot, a lot, a lot more medals. And especially if they're all in S tier and or S plus, which is really hard, even at me at 14 million power. No, I'm at 16 million power that I could get. You know, I got this once and it took me like maybe a few months, maybe four or five months. But now that I'm playing this game the way I'm playing it right now, I'm going to be focusing on that as hard as possible. Because when I first started playing this game, I would buy like these and I'd be like, uh, I'm like, wow, this is really expensive. I don't, I don't I don't really care about that. But I found out that there's like a. A relic behind three of these 50ks, or maybe even a lot more than that, that are that that, that you kind of need. So I'm like, all right, fine, we'll, we'll we'll work on that. That's that's why it's important. So weapons, okay. So let's talk weapons. We got some really good weapons, okay. So on some of my on some of my rolls, I actually got the what do you call it? What what is this? I got I got to come in here to see the breakdown. I actually opened this up for free. This guy right here. This guy was pulled. I just a divine order chest gave it to me, and I was like, okay. And then I just read up on it, and it says uh, upon traveling, it gives you 120 intel. I, I would love for this to tell you, like, you know, keep in milestone of how much intel it's been giving you. That would be so awesome if it had like a little counter at the bottom, because I know this has been helping me a lot so far. So if you guys ever get this, I think. Because you 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 travel so much on a on a daily basis, right? And it just keeps it just keeps adding up so much intel that you're you're gonna get out of that area really really fast. Okay, so the nunchucks. Okay, let me talk about the nunchucks because the nunchucks you actually get around this time. And you may have actually been able to get them earlier. I just didn't think to do that. But if you see these little critters on the ground, you swap you swap this over. You put some incense here. I shot one of these. And, you know, as things happened, I shot another one. And then all of a sudden, a little turtle came up. A unique turtle showed up. There's no other turtle like it. 
and I shot it a bunch of times. You're supposed to shoot it a bunch of times. At, when you kill it, you get some genes, call it a day. You think, okay, fine. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, turn this off, go do some other stuff. Fine. Then you get met with like three turtles because one of them was one of one of the brothers. So like the Ninja Turtles, right? <laughs> so there's three turtles and they're like, they got their backs turned to you and they're like, yo, you killed our brother. We need compensation, etc." You basically have to pay him off, but then a rat that's like a brown color shows up and you shoot it. And when you shoot it, it just so happens that it's Master Splinter. <laughs> that's when uh, that one turtle comes up and he's like, bro, you, you're you killing my family. So no, all three of them come back and they want to fight you. You beat them up. And then one of them, Michelangelo, drops the, uh, he's not called Michelangelo, but he, he drops the Norris Chucks. The Chuck Norris's. <laughs> it's so funny. Um... This game's cute. I like it. So they drop they drop the chucks that look like this. So it says uh, sewer turtle number four. Sewer turtle number four. Yeah. Not a ninja turtle. A sewer turtle. Sewer tortoise. And then, you know, you, you hook it up as soon as you can because this, this, um, this, uh, what do you call it? These, these are really strong. So right now they, they do 2% when you eventually get them. They cut through, they ignore 2% of uh, your enemy's defense. So if your enemy is you know a lot stronger and then the next one's even stronger these scale with them because it's it's via percent it's not a flat percentage which is really really amazing so what do you do when you first go into this well i do what i do is i try to see if i can afford to buy the weapon the the realm specific weapon if i can get the realm specific weapon it's going to help me ex like much it's going to immediately start helping me out as soon as i start upgrading it and putting it together because what happens is and when you put these together, you all you immediately start getting more intel. 2%. It's not bad. 2% is pretty good. And then you come over here and you get 2% damage on top of that. Now we're doing more damage. And then we go to the next one, which is the current level that I'm at. Now we're doing 4% and 4%. So now we're getting intel and damage. Eventually, it's going to crawl up to 12 when it's red. That's really good. That's really fantastic. We want to go ahead and do that. We want to go ahead and get that as soon as possible because you're going to be exploring, again, more than everything else. So you might as well do that. You might as well go ahead and hook that up. You want to you want to get those going as soon as possible. My little gecko. Uh, I'll talk to you guys about the gecko here in a second. Um, it ba it basically happens right around the time when uh, Kathy's almost done. So here, if you click on this, the rating, it'll tell you like what those what having all of those uh, toners and avatars unlocked do. They give you hard stats. This one specifically gives you hard stats. If you click on this one right here and the rating goes up which it's not because i don't have any of the uh the special skins the special skins have drop in the events and because this is a brand new account i haven't had an event yet that drops skins this one right here is the one i'm prioritizing right now because it's exploration so as soon as this hits this s mark this s rank right here of score of 3000 i stop i cut it because this right here this green relic is not worth the the, the next 600 points it's just not then I can start working on something like this one, for example. This one is Hitman. I'm not going to work on the Hitman because the Hitman only shows up once a day. And I, I, like, to I like to shy away from things that are like one-time things. This one's this high because it doesn't cost me toner. These all The rest of them cost me toner. And this one's probably going to be the second one that I'm going to work on because the fissure is constantly working. I got the piggy. The piggy is uh, early on. You get like a little collar and you get like a little feeding bowl. I, I didn't understand. I, I completely forgot where the hell he came from. And you, you get him you get him somewhere in between Korea and Kathy. And you just unlock him. And he's just going to drop poop in the house. Sometimes you're going to see him here. If you have an incense burning, you can actually zap him with it. And when you zap, you can zap him or you can wake him up. You can wake him up. He goes away. He poops. He's like, oh, he gets one of those like jolted wake ups. And he just poops. <laughs> he leaves you a little, you know, genetic material, which is good. Uh, but if you zap him enough times, he'll drop a relic, which is like pork skin or something like that. And it's it's a relic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A relic is good. All right. This little gecko comes out around this time period, too, around the end of Kathy. So if you click on him. See, it says white tab three. If you click on it again, white tabs three. If you click on him a whole bunch of times, he'll actually drop white tabs. And he'll do this for a couple times, you know, from the moment he comes out. And what happens is uh, eventually you're, you'll break his tail. And when you break his... Dang it. <laughs> when you break his tail, 
Where is he gone? I can't tell if he's gone. I think he's gone. When you break his tail, um, it becomes a relic. And then he gets pissed off and he tries to fight you. And when he fights you, you know, he gets he gets wrecked. Not a big deal. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I love that. Every time I see that. Da, da, da. Um, <laughs> that's what I imagine. I, I imagine that song. I love that song. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we could talk about the event. The event actually hit me pretty hard. I'm not going to be able to get to... Uh, this next tier because I just don't have enough speed up uh, anything anything that happens in this right here like you can you can purchase these you can use them if you have enough well this will be much useful later not right now uh, any of these star coins that you get now they don't go away if you click the uh, the instructions on star right here it will not be cleared when the next event ends when the event ends so when the event ends you're not gonna lose them so don't you don't have to worry about it here at the very end is really nice I actually had it in the previous video that got corrupted I actually beat all of these with two, with just two little brains, which is really good. Now they're they're like way too strong. I was dealing with them. They're, they had like I don't know 1,600 damage. So I was like, hell yeah, I rolled right over them. And two little brains took them out. But then they of course escalated to 21,000, which I can barely beat an 8,000. So he's just gonna hit me once and I'm out. I've been uh, upgrading these equally. So what I what I what I did was I got these up to 15. At 15, you can open up another slot. At 25, I believe is the next. Uh, is the next one where you you can open up a third slot and that's it it maxes out at three the Yamato has a lot a lot going on it, it had you know it had a lot of partners it had weapons it had lots of you know beneficial power-ups and stuff like that and yeah you, you know it, it even had like a robot part i'm the, the last one is is behind um yamato right or kathy right now so this rocket's going to be done soon and i'm going to be going into space as soon as the, the rocket's completed it's, it's been all, only about a little bit over two weeks uh, a few days maybe over like one or two days over two weeks and you can push right through yamato if you're a beginner uh i don't know if kathy's going to take the same amount but if it does that's Partly because I know what I'm doing now, where initially when I played, I thought that I needed to go back. I needed to continue trying to churn out and finish. I finished Korea the first time I, I played this game. So I used nonstop. I was so stubborn. I thought I, I, I thought I was on a mission to, 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 to be something that was better than everybody else by getting a hundred percent it's not worth it man it's not you're gonna come back to korea and and yamato and kathy after going to america and you're just gonna breeze right through them i promise so hopefully this was helpful i'll see you guys on the next one uh yeah talk to you guys later peace